programmable matter, substances that can alter their physical properties from shape to color based on input. Whether it's futuristic liquid metals akin to the T-1000 in the Terminator or small, cooperating robots creating complex structures, programmable matter holds the promise of revolutionizing everything from construction to everyday objects. But how close are we to making this sci-fi dream a reality? The concept of programmable matter emerged in 1991 when MIT scientists Tommaso Toffoli and Norman Margulis envisioned a modular computer system where tiny computing nodes worked in parallel, forming a programmable matter. Around the same time, Nobel laureate Jean-Marie Lane explored informed matter, where molecules could self-assemble based on encoded information, laying groundwork for bottom-up nanotechnology. The field of programmable matter continues to progress thanks to advancements in nanotechnology, robotics, and smart materials. Today, centimeter-scale robots equipped with miniaturized power sources and wireless communication can collaborate and reshape dynamically. Engineers are harnessing smart materials that respond to stimuli, such as temperature or light, to create systems capable of bending, expanding, or even changing orientation without traditional moving parts. Although challenges remain in achieving fully dynamic reconfigurability, these developments bring us closer to realizing materials that can adapt to any shape or function on demand. Programmable matter holds transformative potential across numerous industries. The military envisions self-assembling devices for adaptable tools and vehicles, while aerospace applications could include aircraft with shape-shifting wings for optimized flight dynamics. In space exploration, programmable matter might enable the assembly of complex structures in zero gravity. Consumer applications are equally compelling, with smart clothing that adapts to weather changes or personalized objects created on demand, like keys or tools, from a pool of dynamic material. Currently, there are various approaches to programmable matter, with modular robotics being one prominent example. This method focuses on creating robotic units that can self-organize into diverse shapes. MIT's M-Blocks, cube-shaped robots propelled by internal flywheels and stabilized by magnets, demonstrate this potential. Another innovative development is Motines, motorized chains inspired by protein folding, which can transform into complex 2D and 3D structures. Another exciting approach to programmable matter involves metamaterials, engineered substances with unique properties not found in nature. These materials can be designed for advanced control and even inherent computation, earning them the nickname Computronium. Creating the ultimate form of programmable matter may require bridging modular robotics and metamaterials, a vision embodied in claytronics. This field aims to develop smart clay capable of morphing into any shape. At its core is the claytronic atom or catom, a nanoscale unit that can interact and communicate with others to form dynamic structures. For instance, Carnegie Mellon's Claytronics project envisions applications like car design, where claytronic models can be reshaped, passed around, and even recolored in real time, demonstrating its potential for interactive and transformative design. From self-assembling tools and shape-shifting aircraft to dynamic clothing and interactive claytronics, the possibilities are limited only by our imagination and the pace of technological advancements. What do you think will be the most groundbreaking application of programmable matter? Share your thoughts below.